Mary Jane Fletcher, a 10th grader at Gretna High School. <laughs> a house wrapped in ribbon with inhabitants that get along perfectly. Well, theoretically at least. There's a calm chaos that comes with life and five people try and get into a fridge with the mentality that lines are for losers. Have you ever seen a dog with so much attitude that when he's annoyed, his nostrils turn to a train puffing out smoke? Or a sixth grader trying to learn trombone, but across the house it sounds a little bit more like too much Taco Bell? Don't tell him I said that. There's a dead plant on the counter, but there's also one outside. And if even nature can't keep plants alive, then how could we? And then there's the other one. Practically the same, just inverted. A cat perches on the counter, staring and judging, but to her dismay, I judge right back. A staring contest where I'm the reigning champion. She's not allowed on the table, but to prove her supposed superiority. Every time we sit down for dinner, there's a little hair that I need to sleep off. She's my favorite pet, obviously. Dinners are the important stage for my dad's bad jokes and my definitely better ones. The serving tray of arguments about whether it's pronounced nuclear or nuclear. The, are <laughs> the arena of all the poking, prodding, and picking we all dramatically perform. My dad, being the lone male in a house of four women and a cat, can be found on the receiving end of a lot of that. My mom considers herself a free-range parent, unleashing us from our cages to experience life or something like that. But my stepdad is overprotective, so I'm the only one really getting released, and this chicken likes her coop. I mean, it, <laughs> I mean, it practically has a gem in its basement, so who wouldn't? This house cannot survive without its lifeblood, apples, and we don't buy apples absentmindedly. We buy them with strategy. For me and my mom, at least, as we are proud apple snobs, as red delicious really isn't delicious and would be envious of the apple called Envy, my personal favorite. My, I'd say my dad's parenting style is more of orderly. That is if orderly means a stream of Hamilton songs weaving a constant flow throughout the house. Or claiming power like cats where the highest is queen. The clearest way to complete this is by sitting on my siblings and I'm the winner of those battles. This house is a lover of board games, but I find playing the same thing for many hours boring. Cough, cough, terraforming Mars, cough. <laughs> I prefer the quicker games, the ones my parents aren't as fond of. The ones built on deception, like One Night Ultimate Werewolf or Sheriffs of Nottingham, you know, liar at heart. Not that I'm completely against the other longer games, mainly because I'm good at them, well, most of the time at least, and I come from a competitive house, so if they're gonna make me play a game, I'm gonna make them lose. So maybe family can be a little jumbled, the mix of the amusing and the annoying and the arguing and the not arguing, but who says a Patrick Robin can't be pretty? And like we say at my dad's house, the one thing that lasts forever is soy sauce. <laughs>